Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but don't worry, I've got a great video for you guys today, and I'll be trying to post more regularly from now on, like two to three times a week regularly. So make sure you turn on the bell, because we're about to get busy. That being said, let's get into what we're talking about today, which is privacy. It just, and privacy is something that you don't really get much when you're living in a dorm. So today, I'm going to be teaching you guys a few ways that you can get some privacy even when you're living in a dorm. The first way to get some privacy is to make another room inside the room itself. If you don't know how to do that, just check this out. As you guys can see, I took my couch and sectioned off a corner of the room so that I can have a little little room of my own for, you know, privacy sake. Ta-da. Alright guys, for the second strategy to get some privacy in the dorm room, you're going to want to remember that if you can't see someone, they can't see you. What do I mean by that? Well, just take a look. And of course, yes, you can indeed put your face in the freezer instead of the microwave to get some privacy. Now let me ask you, what is the most private place that you could possibly be? The answer is in your own mind, in your own unconscious mind. I'm saying that you're gonna wanna be unconscious. To do this, you might ask, like, what if I can't fall asleep? And I will tell you this, you don't need to fall asleep to become unconscious. do have to say if you decide to use this method you might have a headache in the morning but other than that it works great i give it a two thumbs up all right that's all i got for you guys today thank you for watching please leave a comment subscribe if you want and i will be posting a lot more soon so please turn the bell on if you want to check that out uh, and until then don't forget to be awesome and i'll see you next time